Well, happy Saturday. How's everybody? I, uh, I have a lot to do today. I look tired, don't I? Um, I had an exercise class this morning. I had another uh, client right now. Well, I had a client. And then now I have a stage show that I'm performing. And um, I wish you all could go. Adjusting my camera for one second. There we go. So, um, yeah. I uncovered another theory. I like to say theory because I don't want to come off as me making up, you know, these things. I, I, I don't make these up. It, they just boop, 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 boop. They're dropping in like bird shadoobies. <laughs> But I received something, it was about the connection to Eve and Isis. And I haven't done any researching or looking out for something because I didn't want someone else's information to corrupt my information. But if you were to say that our father, you know, who art in heaven, <laughs> um, did in fact create a woman out of the engineered man, scientifically made man, the Anunnaki made man. Um, let's say our father did create Eve out of the rib of man. Um, and with his flame or fire, if you read the Gospel of Adam, he made, he, you know, out of fire came Eve. So that flame inferno or whatnot, what you want to call it, is it was supposed to be the interruption of the corruption of what was happening to Adam. And what happened was um, the serpent, the master of wisdom, as I usually like to say, um, had to deceive Eve because it was the only way to get, you know, it was the only way to corrupt everyone. Because man, the man was already corrupted to begin with. So the father said, well, we can't let that happen. Let me take a part of him to make him better. And, you know, give her my, you know, uh, my blessing, my anointing, my blah, 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 blah. So you had a serpent from this other side, from the uh, Clefoff tree, which is also the tree of knowledge, which was the inverse which was opposite of the tree of life. And the serpent convinced her, join my side. You know, I'll give you as many children as possible. Uh, I'll give you eternal life. I'll make you a God. Like you don't have to um, do it naturally. Uh, we can see the world supernaturally, uh, but you have to convince one of your children to uh, uh, master the secret. Or give one of your children to me so that the secret can come out. Or we can find the secret to life together. Create the secret to life together. And so, few children along, few generations along, you have Enoch. Um, there's Enotion, there's Enoch. Um, I like to say if one or the other were from the seed of Adam and Eve, like, a, was it the great-grandchild of... Adam was Enoch, number two. Uh, it's a very confusing story, but the Enoch we all talk about, the missing chapter in the Bible, was because if Enoch were a link to Thoth, 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 Thoth was the master of mathematics. He was the master of quantum physics. He's the one who, who knew all this stuff and knew how to have uh, immortality, knew how to have eternal life, knew how to, um, you know, uh, uh, resurrect people from the dead. Uh, I'll post the video below. I think it was the best explanation of the Emerald Tablets. So you had these two tablets that were um, created by Thoth, Doth, and they were buried in the river. Well, what's fascinating was that same river 
if you can if you can put two and two together the story of Moses comes along where he has a child where it's floating down so there's a funny story that I, I think that I would like to say this is the theory part of where I'm trying to go to focus my camera here so get brighter brighter oh you stupid camera anyways so long story short I think Moses was not a child that was given up and floated down a river. I think he was he was he was adopted. He was taken. Because if you follow the last two video, well the last two videos ago, I talked about um, a mystery of Saturn and whatnot. And that mystery basically Saturn, Kronos, um, had a connection to children and the innocent children and and allowing them to suffer i'm trying to really fix my brightness here there we go and whatever um so if you if you like google search saturn god you see him with a baby and he's sucking the life out of the child so in 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 that theory can we say that uh moses was brought up by I would say that was uh, Inky right because Inky was serpent Inky was uh, and Lil was the, the bird remember uh, navigating navigating and then if you had this child that was raised up as a parallel to step in when Enoch disappeared then you have someone hijack the Old Testament story. It wasn't the Ten Commandments that were to be in in place. Or the Ten Commandments were to be in place of the Emerald Tablets. But the Emerald Tablets were supposed to be told about. Because if people were warned about this, um, all this corruption wouldn't have happened. But I think if you were to play God for a moment and you were to say, Wow, the Emerald Tablets has a lot of damage. I have to do damage control. What do I do? You would create a false, you know, two tablets, and you would throw in a story of so you would just, just find a child, and 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 you know make him make him learn our system, our mathematic system of Egypt, and and as he learned everything, Moses, I'm talking about, as he learned everything and became aware of the truth, he ran, and but guess what, the serpent was still there with him in his head and and used his doubt and his ego to take these two tablets and share the word wherever the commandments were so whether it was appropriate or not of the ten commandments imprisoning the people narrowing them down but if you were to say that there was a world that existed where um, people knew all the mysteries and the secrets um, there will be no control over the world. So the Great Flood is relevant. The Great Flood had to happen, in a sense. So, Great Flood happened because of Enlil, because he's a sky god. He's a bird. He's the, he's an angelic, he's an archangel of, of heaven that was casted down. Um, then you had the, the lightning. So there's a connection to... Uh, Lucifer, Luciferian, uh, lucid, light of the world, light bearer. Um, anyone who bears the light has to run from uh, darkness or run to darkness because they're bearing too much light. So it, it kind of would make sense in the theoretical version that I'm saying. I think I've uncovered another truth that there what Moses was the imposter of Thoth, Toth. Moses was brought up to it's almost like if you have like these uh, musicians right now and there always has to be a certain musician to replace another like you have Justin Timberlake everyone knows and you have uh, Robin Thicke and you have Ed Sheridan who all have that raspy you know it, it's like we always have to have a generation of the same you know version
<laughs> I'm not making this up, people. This happened yesterday. <laughs> if you look up um, uh, Revealed Revealing More Mysteries Part 2 This happened to me Two times on that video I said what I said And yet again another Revelation occurred Anyways I really want you guys to pay attention to what I say Because it's very